Hey guys, in this C-Sharp how-to video, I'm going to show you how to create a completely invisible Windows form. Some typical uses for a completely invisible Windows form application are, say, if you want to have a form that just sits in the background that nobody's supposed to know about. Maybe that opens up network sockets. That, no, I'm just kidding. Let's not do that. <laughs> in this tutorial, we're going to create an invisible Windows form application and have it pop up a message box every five seconds. Let's get started. We'll create a new Windows Form application, and I will just call it Hidden Form. Make sure Windows Form application is selected. Hit OK. The first thing we're going to do is make it so the Windows Form does not show up. What you need to do is right click on the form, hit View Code, and in the Forms constructor we're going to add two lines of code. The first one being this.windowsState equals form window state dot minimized. So when this program is launched, when the new form gets created, it will start the window state as minimized. So it will not be shown on the window, but it will be minimized to the taskbar. The next line of code will get rid of that, which is this dot show in taskbar, and we're going to set that equal to false. And what that will do is get rid of the taskbar icon down here. It is actually the only two lines of code that you will need to create the invisible form. Let's just run it and test it. I ran it right now nothing happens. No change down here. No windows pop up. Just to show you, if I comment these lines out, we will get a new windows form that will pop up. Just like that. And if I uncomment them again and run it again, nothing happens. Now I will show you a simple implementation of what you can do with this invisible windows form. Let's go to our toolbox and grab a timer. Just double click on it. If you click on it once, It'll bring up the properties here. We're going to set the interval to, let's say, 5,000. And what that means, you set it to the number of seconds times 1,000. So if you want every 5 seconds, set it to 5,000. And we'll just leave it named timer1. Now we double click on the timer1. And that registers a new handler for the timer tick event, which will happen every 5 seconds. What I'm going to put in here is message box show and what this is going to do is pop up a message box and I'm going to say where is this coming from and now in our constructor and all we need to do is add timer one dot start and that will start the timer so then every five seconds after it starts we will get a new message box popping up that says where is this coming from let's test it out and there's our message box that is it for this tutorial guys. Please like this video and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.